And now, the moment you've been waiting for, please welcome back to the stage, Chairman of the VEX Game Design Committee, Karthik Kana Gessa Bapathy, and voice of the finals, Grant Cox! Now, I've just got one question for you. Are you ready? We're going to kick things off with next year's Vex IQ Challenge game. Vex IQ teams, we rehearsed this yesterday. I want you to count it down with me. 10, 9, Eight. Four. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Two. One. Gentlemen, I'd like to present to you Vex IQ Challenge Bank Shot. A big thank you to the 2014 Vex IQ Challenge Excellence Award winners, Team 7010A from Puerto Rico, the Technobots, for helping present this year's game. Why don't we see how <laughs> why don't we see how Vex IQ Challenge Bank Shot is played? Introducing the 2015-2016 game, Vex IQ Challenge Bank Shot. There are three ways to play a Vex IQ Challenge Bank Shot. First, two teams will collaborate in 60-second teamwork challenge matches, working together to maximize their score. Both teams will receive the same points. Second, each team will have the opportunity to play robot skills challenge matches. In these matches, they have 60 seconds of driver-controlled time to score as many points as possible as an individual team. Lastly, each team will also have the opportunity to play programming skills challenge matches in which they have 60 seconds of autonomous robot operation to score points. No drivers allowed. Vex IQ Challenge Bank Shot is played on a 4 foot by 8 foot field. Robots start on the field in the predefined starting positions. The scoring objects used in Vex IQ Challenge Bank Shot are three inch balls. There are a total of 44 balls on the field that are part of the game. The object of the game is to work with your alliance partner to maximize your score. Teams score points by emptying cutouts for one point each, scoring balls in the scoring zone for one point each, and scoring balls in the goal for three points each. Teams also earn points for parking robots on the ramp at the end of the match. 10 points for one robot, or 25 points for two robots. For official robot requirements and official game rules for Vex IQ Challenge Bank Shot, please see the Vex IQ Challenge Game Manual found at roboticseducation.org and vexiq.com. Also, don't forget to visit VexIQForum.com for all the latest information and updates. Good luck, and have a great season! This is unlike anything VexIQ has ever seen before. This game's really gonna ramp up the excitement. You wanna fight? Yeah, I knew you'd like that. You gotta find a way to get two robots on that ramp. It's gonna be tight. You're really gonna have to work with your partner. But I know the T-Rex in that video, V-Rex, he could do it. <laughs> and alongside Ike, we know that teamwork will be crucial for this game. So, for the past three years in Vex IQ, everything's been pick and place. Pick and place. Pick and place. And while, as Karthik shows, 
You can still earn points by picking and placing balls into the scoring zone. You get the most points in bank shot by going airborne. Nice shot, Grant. <laughs> but if Vex IQ is taking bank shot, what in the world is DRC doing? I think I'm about ready to find out. Hey, are you ready? Nothing but net. And a big thank you to our VRC 2014 Excellence Award winners for helping to present this year's game. Team 394, the Highlands Intermediate from Hawaii, and Team 7581H from Hazlitt, Michigan, the Vex Raptors. Why don't we see how it's played? Greatest in two minutes in robotics. The 2015-2016 game, Vex Robotics Competition, Nothing But Net. Nothing But Net is played on a 12 foot by 12 foot field by two alliances, one red and one blue, each made up of two teams. The object of the game is to attain a higher score than the opposing alliance by scoring balls in low goals for one point each, and in a high goal for five points each. Bonus balls are worth twice as many points as normal balls. Two points in a low goal, and ten points in a high goal. And there's more. At the end of the match, teams get 25 points for low elevating their partner. Or 50 points for high elevating their partner. There are a total of 104 scoring objects. 94 balls and 10 bonus balls available in the game. Four balls may be preloaded on or in robots at the start of the match. Each alliance will have 24 balls available as driver control loads, while 30 balls and 10 bonus balls will start at designated locations on the field. Each match begins with a 15 second autonomous period where robots score without help from their drivers. The alliance that scores more points in the autonomous period is awarded with 10 bonus points added to the final score at the end of the match. The 1 minute, 45 second driver control period begins once the autonomous period bonus winner has been determined. At the end of the driver control period, after all objects and robots have come to rest, the match will be scored to determine the winning alliance. For detailed rules and game information on Vex Robotics Competition, nothing but net, see roboticseducation.org or vexrobotics.com. And be sure to visit the VEX forums often for all the latest updates. Best of luck on a great season. For 
years you've been asking for a shooting game, and we've delivered. About half the balls start back here in the Alliance Station. So there's really room for a robot that might want a human load and take full court shots. Come on. Oh! I got mine. Yeah, <laughs> you did, the, boy. The other half of the balls start on the field. Giving teams a chance to perfect shots from up close. And think of the strategy. You're going to have to find a way to elevate your partner off the ground. Four inches or all the way above the field. It's a brand new challenge for VRC, and we can't wait to see what teams come up with. Vex Worlds 2016 is going to be unreal. But stop right there. We still have to finish Vex Worlds 2015. We're going to come back tomorrow, and we're going to crown five world champions. Vex IQ Elementary School, Vex IQ Middle School, Vex U. Vex Robotics Competition Middle School and Vex Robotics Competition High School. Who wants to be a world champion? Come back tomorrow and we'll find out. Have a good night, folks.